Okay, so we're back at the desk. Today we're gonna to be installing the Runcam Wasp in part three of this conversion series. I've been waiting all week to do this as I really just didn't have time, but holy crap, we're finally doing this. First things first, uh, let's take out the Runcam Wasp out of the box. Uh, so it's a simple packaging. It's really like the Runcam 5 orange box and I, I feel like Runcam they package all their stuff really much pretty much the same way. It's just a nice little box and then foam inserts and what whatever they're selling. So right in the box you get the Runcam link which is a Caddx Vista essentially and then you get the Wasp camera which is the new camera. The only difference is the Caddx Polar that I have on my ProTech which is down here is in 16 by 9 mode which is a normal frame size if you were to watch stuff like it's a, a landscape frame size this camera is locked in 4 by 3 aspect ratio which means it's pretty much okay this is the 16 by 9 so 16 by 9 right 4 by 3 you you get you cut off the sides and you basically get a taller image but shorter length of, of frame and it is, that's essentially what it's locked in. So it's going to be a really different flying experience in my opinion, because I've only, I've only flown stuff that are 16 by nine. I've never really tried four by three. So this is going to be a, this is going to be a first, uh, but first we do need to finish building this first so that we can actually try and, attack and fly it. But so yeah, let's just get to it. Okay. So this is the run cam wasp in all its, its glory. Uh, in the box, it does come with more like instructions, which we'll be referencing. And also in the box, they do come with a, a, a link antenna, which runs off here. It should be a snap-on, should be a connector that's somewhere on the board, and you just press it in. I think it's right here. They also come with some cables, uh, which we'll be soldering from. We're not going to be using the plug. We're going to be directly soldering to it. So we're just going to snip snip and that's, that's what we're going to do. And then they also come with the mounting hardware. So that's that. Okay. Real quick, before we start, we're going to come up with a blueprint or a plan of some sort of what we're going to actually be doing, because as you pretty much know, I, I, I haven't soldered much in my day. So. There's a lot of soldering to be done today as there are how many pads? One, two, there's at least like four or five pads that we'll be needing to solder to plus soldering it to the quad and yeah. So we're gonna come up with a blueprint or a plan just to make sure that everything works. Uh, so first things first, we're gonna reference the Caddx Vista site, which is, you can see they clearly labeled that battery, the, the voltage, the V is for battery, G is for ground, RX is for the RX, whatever, TX is TX, and then another ground and an S bus. So since we're not using any of the DJI equipment, we won't be using these, um, the, the pads on the very right hand side of the thing. We're, only been, we're gonna be only using volt, voltage, ground, RX, and TX, so that's it. The other pads we can leave, and we're not gonna solder it to that. So we're gonna have to snip some more, snip some cables off so that it's not messy and we're just gonna get started soldering. And then that's from on our Caddx end side. Once we move into soldering to the actual uh, Nazgul, we're gonna have to reference this, which is our uh, flight controller that we've been kind of using as a diagram to really see what we're soldering to. With how I want to orient this, I put my ELRS RX, it was on the UR2, so that's all the, the months marked with two and the middle, pretty much the middle series of pads there. With the Vista, however, we're going to put it on UR1 just to keep it all simple and uniform. So we're going to be using the nine volt, the nine volt pad in the top or bottom right, ground, R1 and T1. Those are the only pad, those are the four pads that we'll be using. So enough talking, let's just get soldered. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna move the quad out of the way for a second as we're not gonna be using the quad at this moment. Okay, so all we have left is the Runcam Wasp. Um, 
there was a way I would I would disconnect this, but oh well. So we're gonna only be using this side over here and just be soldering to basically inside here. Okay, so as the diagram referenced earlier, we are using the red wire for power. Next is the black wire for ground. So that's this one, right? Uh, yellow for the RX. Uh, and then white would be for the TX. So that's this one. The rest, which are the gray and basically the off black are for the other stuff. So we don't need that. We can snip that off essentially. Snip. Snip. Okay, so we're gonna be using red, black, yellow, white, and that's it. So gray and off black goes back in the box. We don't need that. So essentially, um, so let's start with the red wire. So we're just gonna expose a little bit of it by taking off some of the rubber trim. Let's just do all of these while we're here. So we're gonna do the black one. Just a little bit, not too much. Here, yellow one. So let's turn on our soldering iron. And then meanwhile, we're waiting for that to get hot. We're gonna put some flux, which is basically uh, soldering glue in my, my, my perspective of things, but it's probably not more technical terms. So we're just gonna put some flux on top of the pads we're gonna be soldering to so that the solder sticks easily. I'm just gonna dabble a little bit of this, right? And put it in there. So we're gonna be soldering to this one and this whole roll right here. So we're just gonna put some flux down like this. So the iron's hot now, enough. So we're just gonna tin up the iron a little bit. And then we're just gonna dab a little bit of this. Now we're gonna actually be soldering the cables to the Vista, so we're just gonna put it here. Yes, we did. Okay, so that's that. Oh, that took so long. Okay, so we're gonna turn the iron off for a bit. So right now we have the red cable for the power, black is for the ground, yellow is your RX, I believe, and then white is the TX. Okay, so that's that. Um, wow, was that a hard, sorry. It's so tight. I think I should have taken it apart and then soldered to it, but oh well. That works. All right, next step. Now we solder to the actual flight controller. So with the flight controller, we're gonna be using the nine volt pad on the very right hand side, the ground and R1, T1. Those are the ones that we're gonna be trying to, or those are the ones that we're gonna be soldering to. So first things first, we have to drop some flux on there. Then we have to make some beads with the solder and then we can actually solder the Vista on. Okay, let's do this. Let's get the flux back out. Get some flux. And then we're just gonna remove, or we're just gonna put the ELRS on the side a little bit so we have some space. So we're gonna, we need a nine volt here. Just gonna apply some of that on here. And then we need the R1 and T1 here. There we go. So that's flux applied. Let's seal it back up so it doesn't dry out. Hold up, I did not think this through. One second, we have a little bit of problem. Not sure how this is supposed to be wired, but okay, so the 
camera sits up here, right? Then the Vista sits in the back here. And then the cables get soldered like this. Or because I can't unless hold up one second okay so that little interruption was just me having a little uh, mini panic attack because I was like okay if the Vista is gonna be mounted like that how is it gonna how's the antenna gonna be but I figured out that the antenna has to go on here so it'll be basically sticking out this way and then that means that these wires have to stretch all the way back over here to be able to solder in and it'll look something like that so the wires have to bend back a little bit like this okay like that so i think i'm going to cut the wires a little bit hopefully we don't cut them too short Okay, let's do the red wire first. So we're just going to strip a little bit. There you go. Actually, let's just strip all the wires. So, uh, just so that we can have ease of soldering. I'm just going to strip this. And to strip them is really easily, you just squeeze them, They're, it's like really rubber tubes, so basically they come off really easily, Once, if you have nails that is. Okay, uh, so we're going to turn on the iron again, let it get some heat. Okay, um, so worst sounds the worst, we're just going to redo the solder points, but at this point, just for the video's sake, I'm just going to get these soldered in, and then if I have to redo them, then I'll just... I don't know, take a picture or tell you what I did. But for now, we're just going to solder them in and roughly mount it and then figure out the rest later. Hold that. Okay, that, that's a bit hot. Okay, so we're just going to tin up the pads. remove the vista for now okay that's good now we worry about where these things are going to go so let's say we just put the camera off to the side first do the red, which is power. So that one has to go at the top here. Actually, let's do ground because it's on the bottom. So we're gonna do the red, uh, black one first. There we go, and we're finished. Oh my God, that took forever. Okay, so my plan is to run it like this, like that. Obviously this wire will go underneath the board here. Uh, I'm gonna have to take off these so I can run the wire through once everything's set and finished. But I think it's going to work. So it's going to be like this. Um, and we we'll just have to mount the Vista like this. And then cameras like this. And 
this should be good. Off camera, basically, I redid the solder joints to make it look nicer and more organized. Um, with the cameras on, I felt so pressured to like do everything, but so I basically resoldered uh, these into. Oh, okay. So I basically resoldered these into a nicer point. I made sure each cable are kind of like looped around instead of stacking on top of each other. So that's going to be good. Um, so that's going to be it. I think so. That's that. Let's just make sure this goes on again. So here, I'm just going to give you a more clear picture since I have the camera. Okay. So basically I wrapped the red wire on top instead of lay laying on the black wire and then the white wire on top as well instead of laying on the yellow wire this way so that the wires don't stack up and clump up together that's what i did off camera um i'm gonna be taking off these uh the i'm gonna be taking off the flight controller so i can run the run cam wasp underneath the board so it's or i can just leave it like this honestly no i'm gonna run it underneath so it's more clean and like seamless uh so like right now this black wire up here right this black wire is sitting on top of the flight controller i want to run it through instead of on top so that way it will sit like this and then we'll just mount the vista in the back like that elrs on top somewhere voila we're finished we're not finished we still need to battery check it uh set it up in, in beta fly we got a lot of stuff to go so either way so either way that that is that that's part three which is the vista install it's this this brick here that we've been obsessing over the past i don't know 30 minutes it's been an hour for me i'm probably just going to edit this down but part three is done join me next week and part four when i uh get it kind of put together and then battery test it and make sure that all the electronics work uh i think at this in the same episode i'm gonna put it into betafly and set up all the switches and everything as well um and then we're gonna i don't know part five is gonna go fly we're just gonna go fly we're gonna get the maiden flight in if this video is helpful to you please click the like button below if you like this whole entire channel with fpv drones photography everything hit the subscribe button below that'll be it thanks all Bye-bye.